Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a way to create a photo montage from one large image. The techniques that I'll show you are relatively quick and easy and can be applied to any photo. Open a photo you'd like to use. I downloaded this one and the others from Shutterstock.com. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. In this layer, we'll create the shape that we'll use for our small individual photos. Open your rectangular marquee tool and drag out a selection whose shape and size approximates the shape and size that you want for your individual photos. We'll fill the selection with black. To do this, go to Edit and Fill. Click Black and click OK. We're going to save this shape as a custom brush. To do this, go to Edit and Define Brush Preset. We'll keep its default name. Notice the thumbnail automatically tells you its pixel size. Click OK to save it. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect it. Now that we saved the shape as a custom brush, we can trash the shape layer. Make a copy of your photo by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Click the thumbnail of the background to make the layer active. We'll fill it with white. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since white is the background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the active layer with white. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll be filling this layer with the shape that we saved as a custom brush. Make your photo active. We're going to make it into a clipping mask so the photo will show through the shapes that we'll be making in the layer below it. To make your photo into a clipping mask, press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. At this point, your canvas should be totally white. Make the empty layer active. Open your brush tool and open the brush picker. Notice the last thumbnail preset should be the shape that you saved as a brush. Press Enter or Return and press the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open your brush panel. In the Brush Tip Shape window, the spacing controls the amount of shapes that will appear as you brush across your document. The lower the percentage, the more shapes will be brushed in and the higher the percentage, the less shapes will be brushed in. For this example, I'll type in 110. Depending on the size and resolution of your document, you may find a different amount works better for you. Click Shape Dynamics. The angle jitter determines the variance of angles for each shape. So for example, at 0%, all the shapes will have no angles to them, but at 31%, you can see the difference. Let's set it at 1% to give each shape a slight variance. Then click the double arrowhead icon to close the panel. Zoom out of your document by pressing Ctrl or Command and the minus key on your keyboard a couple of times. Place your brush outside your document. If you want to make the brush shape larger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Then brush across your document to reveal your photo. To fit your document back on your canvas, press Ctrl or Command-0. Double-click on the thumbnail of your shapes to open its layer style window. Keep in mind, depending on the size and resolution of your document, you may want to use different amounts than the ones I'll be typing in for this example. Click Stroke. I'll make the size 10 pixels. Make the position inside and click the color box. Pick White and click OK. Click Drop Shadow and make its opacity 20%. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle 140 degrees. I'll make the distance 10 pixels and the size 8 pixels. Then click OK. Notice the photos that are extending past the document have unwanted borders along their edges. To get rid of these borders, zoom out of your document 
and press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag the transform out until the borders are gone. If you want, you can also enlarge the photos inside their respective shapes. To do this, make your photo active, open your transform tool, and enlarge it. Then, fit it back on your screen. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.